10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Liftoff. Go Falcon. Go Hunting. ISPE. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Nominal first stage chamber pressures. engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. So those three events successful, main engine cut off, stage separation, left hand side of your screen, you can see a view of the first stage deploying its grid fins, starting its recovery sequence. The second stage on the right hand side of your screen, we've got a shot of there's confirmation of the fairing deploy, the XB satellite now getting directly exposed to the vacuum of space. Stage one, entry burn startup. So left-hand side of your screen, you can see the grid fins and you can see the plume from the entry burn. At this point, we are firing three of the Merlin 1D engines. And uh, we're decelerating the first stage, but we're still going pretty fast. Vacuum engine, we've got landing burn startup on the first stage. Left-hand side of your screen is a shot from the drone ship. Nominal Stage orbit. one, landing leg deploy. And correction, that's a shot from the first stage. And on the right-hand side is a shot from the drone ship. We've deployed the landing legs, hopefully for a soft touchdown on just read the instructions. Stage one, landing confirmed. And that, that is a 97th successful recovery of a first stage on our drone ship named Just Read the Instructions. This particular first stage uh, having scored fifth, five flights under its belt. There's ignition of the second stage engine. This burn was expected to last about 40 seconds. Nominal MVAC cutoff. Uh, it's an object that's about 11,000 light years from planet and Earth. And payload separation confirmed. So there's confirmation of payload separation. The XB satellite floating away from Falcon 9 second stage to begin its two year mission to study some of the most energetic objects in the cosmos. And with that, it's uh, going to end our webcast coverage for today. So we want to give a big thanks to NASA for entrusting us with today's mission, SpaceX's fifth NASA science mission to date and the second in the last couple of weeks. We also want to give a big thanks to the range and the Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. And of course, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you again for the next launch.